Dear Aquarius, what planet did you really come from? <laughs> It is your girl, the lady, Ms. Vagina Jenkins, and it is time for Queer Astrology. It's also time to celebrate the Aquarius energy in the room with us right now. <laughs> this video is a love letter to Aquarius energy. My Aquarius sun moon risings and aquarius stelliums that means four or more planetary placements in aquarius in honor of aquarius season i just wanted to make this video celebrating everything that i love and adore about aquarius energy first things first uh i love that big weirdo energy <laughs> Um, as a queer and actively queering person, I just adore the ways in which Aquarians are so dedicated and focused on <sighs> innovation, rebellion, and doing things differently. You know how people use that phrase, oh, it is what it is, to like shut down conversation? I feel like that is the opposite of, of, of Aquarian energy. I feel like Aquarians are never satisfied with what is, but are always looking forward to like what could be better, especially as it pertains to being in the service of humanity as a whole. Uh, when I think about social justice, when I think about activism, generally speaking, when I think about um, people that use art and creativity outside the box, or even technology, particularly technology, um, in ways that are just out of the box and innovative, I absolutely think about Aquarian energy. An interesting thing is we know that all of the signs sort of like build on each other and Aquarius comes after Capricorn. And I think that they really do build on each other um, as evidenced by the fact, um, as evidenced by their ruling planets. So Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and it is very much about like hard work, responsibility. Aquarius is also ruled by Saturn it's doubly ruled by Saturn and Uranus. And so we have the energy in Aquarius, we have the energy of yes, working hard, being responsible, being dedicated, seeing that thing through to the end, especially because Aquarius is this fixed sign, you know? Um, fixed energy is very much about we work hard until the project is completed, you know? But then Aquarius has this extra little Uranus energy. Uranus is that kind of planet that is anything could happen. Like when a when Uranus is transiting one of our placements in our natal chart, that's often when we have these kind of bizarre, off the wall kinds of situations that happen to us that propel us forward into something better. And that is the it Aquarius placements are the embodiment of that kind of energy. Yes, anything could happen. Yes, what could happen? And could we keep an eye out for places where things get weird? And how could we embrace the places where things get weird? When I think about Aquarius energy, I absolutely think about not accepting what is not accepting the way things have always been done, not accepting, well, this is how I was told to do it, but instead looking at whatever issue, whatever problem, whatever project, and understanding that there is a unique solution to it. Um, and that's, a, that's just another thing that I admire about Aquarian energy is that it is so unique and it is not afraid of being unique. 
uh, some of my favorite Aquarius rising sun, moon, stellium people are the people who are just not afraid to be weirdos in whatever area of life that they find Aquarius in their chart. For Aquarius risings, that would be like yourself and the embodiment of being a weirdo. Um, but yeah, wherever you find Aquarius in your chart, that's a place where you don't do things traditionally. You don't just go with what has already been done, whatever the rubric and the rules say, but a place where you're more interested in finding a unique way to navigate that particular issue of life. I think a stereotype that people have about Aquarians is that, oh, they're so detached, you know? Um, I think a stereotype is very much, oh, uh, Aquarians don't have heart or feelings like that. And that's so... I don't know. That it, it seems to me that, that there couldn't be anything further from the truth. Uh, the Aquarian symbol is literally the water bearer. Uh, water is the realm of feelings. It's the realm of emotions. It's the realm of connecting to spirit, something that's greater than us all. And they are the container for it. How you gonna say Aquarians don't have feelings? Your life is ridiculous if you believe that. Aquarians have deep feelings, big feelings. They're human like everybody else. It's just this idea that we don't allow our feelings to take us off of the course. So like fixed energy is very much rooted to in seeing a project, a, a problem all the way through to the end and working hard on whatever you feel is important and something that you feel responsible to. Aquarius is not going to let that fall by the wayside because they're having a feeling, you know? My Pisces asked could never. So yeah, look to your Aquarius friends. Look to them if you're looking to do things differently, better. Look to them if you're looking for the kind of activism that is rooted in helping everyone in society do better, not just a few at the top of the hierarchy. Look to your Aquarian friends when you want to get weird with things. Look to your Aquarian friends when you want to queer things. Look to your Aquarian friends when you think about what it means to be in society, to be in community with people, and how we improve ourselves and the world around us by committing to innovation and getting things weird. Yeah, look to your Aquarian friends, your Aquarian suns, your Aquarius uh, rising, your Aquarius moons, your Aquarius stelliums, people with a lot of Aquarius in their chart. Look to them when you want things to get weird. Uh, look to them for that kind of queerness um, in life. Look to them when you are looking for a, a partner in activism, particularly activism that helps everyone in society to do better in life. Look to Aquarians when you're tired of doing the exact same thing in the exact same way that it has always been done and you're looking to mm, rebel, innovate, and do something completely off the wall. Look to your Aquarian friends when you want to see what could happen. Yeah, that's it. I love you so much, Aquarius friends. Happy birthday to my Aquarius sons. I hope that your new you year treats you well and it provides you with so much joy, so much abundance, so much healing. And yeah, shout out to my Aquarians. Thank you for bringing the water. Thank you for getting weird. Thank you for all of the ways in which you make us queer question the status quo and want for something better yeah all right y'all that's the video thanks for watching thank you for being subscribed and thank you for making time for queer astrology yeah.